pool today on City Line, and this is a great way to enjoy the beautiful weather, but we still need to think about sun protection. So joining me now, our natural health expert, Bryce Wild. Hey. hey. Um, you look like the sun. Mwah. Well, very, very uh, I'm very loving yeah. that all the neon is out now, yeah. so we can embrace it and have some fun in the sun. There's a lot we need to think about. Um, I find that the sun is just, it's hotter than ever. Like, I didn't burn as a young child. Now I burn if I'm in, out in mm. the sun too long. So we need to talk about safety. Yes, that's not just a subjective, uh, you know, um that's not something you're noticing. It's something it's scientists happening. are noticing, right? It's happening. Yeah, so you know, our atmosphere is depleting. There's a lot that we're doing to damage it. So yeah. we do have to be more careful. Mm -hmm. We saw a lot of skin in the first segment. We want to make sure that skin is protected. Yes. All right. So yeah. I glow in the dark, <laughs> and uh, and you don't. But I know. but but this type of skin, this very fair skin, that needs even more attention. Yes. And so here's why, by the way. First of all, quick statistics in North America: mm -hmm. one in five will be diagnosed with skin cancer by the age of mm -hmm. 70, and so much of it's preventable. Yeah. It's by UVA, UVB. Right? Okay. So we, we need to prevent that. And by the way, there's more skin cancer than all forms of cancer combined. Right. And, and yet it's the most preventable. So okay. <laughs> talking about neon going back to the 80s, I mean, go back to the 80s for this tanning oil. I mean, yes. that's what we used to do, right, in our, you know, back used in the to day? We bake. Right? So used to bake like we don't a potato. do that, or you're not supposed to do that anymore. You, you don't want to do that anymore. So here's the deal. So ditch anything under 15, mm -hmm. but researchers find that anything more than 50 SPF, sun protection factor, yeah. is probably not really advisable. We don't really know that anything beyond 50 is really working for you. Okay. So that happy zone is between 15 yeah. and, uh, and, and 50, okay? okay? And I highly recommend people do their due diligence mm -hmm. and look at the environmental working group's work okay. on the best forms of sun block out there. All right. Here's why. The number one chemical used, oxybenzone. Okay. Turns out, not so healthy for us for numerous reasons. In the sunscreen. In the sunblocks that are out there. The sunblocks. Yep, yep. So what you want to look for is a mineral blocker, okay? Oh, okay. Titanium dioxide yes. is one of my favorites as a mineral. You put it on, it's a little bit of chalky white. Oh, I know that. Right? Yes. And, and, Those and so, are the good ones, though, sadly. But they are, and it's getting, it's getting better, mm -hmm. all right? Or zinc oxide. Yeah. So titanium dioxide or zinc oxide Got okay it. so some mineral blockers and here's the deal SPF let's just run through this real quick for folks because yeah. for a long time I also didn't know what that even meant what, what is 15 SPF? So, so here's the deal if you know and I do how quickly you burn in the Sun for me it's about 15 minutes direct sunlight. direct sunlight okay. so I take a calculator 15 mm -hmm. times the SPF I'm using so let's mm -hmm. say I'm using an SPF of 50 mm -hmm. and that equals 750 mm -hmm. divide that by the minutes so that's 60 minutes yeah. what I get is 12 and a half hours in the sun. 12 okay. and a half hours in the sun safely. And by the way, the misconception is that people think you need to be reapplying, reapplying. And I, and I would recommend that you do reapply. Right. But putting also that same SPF 50 is not really giving you that sort of resetting the clock and allowing you now for another 12 and a half hours. Oh. You still need to be cautious and careful that you don't stay in the sun longer than that SPF is uh, protecting you for. So, okay? so you should reapply. I mean, when you get in the pool and get out, you need to reapply. And yep. it, generally, if it's been longer than the 12 and a half hours, reapply. Or you're saying, get out. So you just get mentioned something so sun. key and that is you've gone now into the pool yeah. or maybe you've played in the sand. So that's yeah. reducing the SPF factor because you basically wash it off. And in most studies, yeah. the studies show like when they are covering themselves, these, these subjects in the studies, they're covering themselves head to toe every little inch. In what we do quickly before we jump in the pool is maybe a 30 or 40 percent cover. So we're not doing the right job covering so ourselves. You should be covering yep. ourselves the whole way. Here's okay. a little hack. I do know there's some spots uh, on my skin that my dermatologist is, is looking at. See mm -hmm. your dermatologist every year if you're my skin tone in particular. You'll ask your family. But these little band-aids, circular band-aids, I will put this on the mole in question, oh. right? So as to protect the mole, nothing's getting through uh, that band-aid. Oh, smart. Right? Rather than just relying on sunblock. Okay. So what's so cool in the world of nutrition? Like, I don't think I've ever done a show without greens on the table. I know. You <laughs> so that goes to show them. you how important greens and vegetables are. Yes. So, so here's what I think uh, people need to know more of is that there are incredible ways to get your sun protection yeah. in what you're eating. Okay. There is a common denominator here, whether it's papaya, paprika, mm -hmm. eggs, or these beautifully colored, deep, rich, red, yellow, and in particular green, mm -hmm. lutein, yeah. and zeaxanthin. Okay. These are carotenoids, like from the vitamin A family. Yeah. When you supplement with zeaxanthin, lutein, and even fish oils, we're talking DHA, yeah. EPA, that from the inside out, high affinity to the skin, has shown in some studies 83% decreased um, uh, UVA, UVB uh, damage. Oh. And so, by the way, besides sun uh, sc uh, screen blocking, uh, you know, uh, to prevent sun cancer, sk yes. skin cancer rather, yeah. we're talking about accelerating aging. 
Yes, right? I know. UVA I know. is notorious as that. Often people are more concerned about that than the cancer. It's like, it's what? It's making me look old? So It's like, no, can't. first the illness, be aware, but yep. then also, ob yes, the sun is the biggest ager <laughs> there Most, is, right? Yeah, absolutely. So five bad burns, yes. increase of, of skin cancer by twice, twofold. Yes. But five bad burns, you're looking about five or to ten, stats show, five to ten uh, years older than you actually are, right. biological age. Okay? Yeah. So zeaxanthin, azdaxanthin. Here's a little hack at home as well. Stay hydrated because when you stay hydrated, your mm -hmm. skin is much more able uh, to stay plump, juicy, and protect itself against okay. UVA, UVB. Plump and juicy. So plump and juicy. You want so, that. So, so a little bit of lemon, a mm -hmm. little bit of salt, like a, literally a pinch of salt in about yay amount of water. Yes. And that's an at-home electrolyte drink. So you're also oh. sweating a lot. Yeah. Remember to replenish those electrolytes. Folks, nothing better than, to, than, than, than blocking the sun out with clothes that are UVA, UVB right. protective. Most the of them are. Guards, right. The long sleeves. Cover yourself with a hat. Find shade. Yes. Find shade, okay? Yeah. And then aloe vera, if you don't have a plant at home, should you get burned or should you get really red? Mm -hmm. My favorite go to aloe vera, it is so incredibly powerful to heal the skin yes. and minimize on that uh, UVA, UVB exposure. Really good. Yeah, so, everything thanks. you need to know about yeah. blocking that sun. Thank you very much, yeah. Bryce.